I'm not dead, I'm not dead. I just have a lot of things to do. But Wargaming came with another tank to the super test. And this time it's a tier 9 heavy called the FV4201 Chieftain Proto. A Chieftain prototype. Nope, 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 nope. Jokes aside. We obviously have to discuss this vehicle. This is still super test, meaning that there are still a boatload of things which can change. None of those values you can see right here are final. The thing is, the Chieftain Proto has a 400 Alpha gun, aka a 120mm gun. It has meh mobility, 45 kph top speed and obviously a Chieftain turbo with 350mm in the front, which might even has some special surprises for us, which we have to discuss later down the road. Now, let's just start with the gun. The gun, as mentioned before, is a 400 Alpha gun with 120 mm caliber. It shoots APCR for standard, for premium and hash for gold, with the standard rounds having 262 mm of penetration and 310 for the gold and 120 on the hash with 515 on the alpha of the hash round. Pretty decent. We do have 12 seconds reload time which gives us a DPM of 2000 flat and stat. That is meh. It's okay. Like, you can work with that, but it is obviously not good. The Concept 1B, for example, which is considerably one of the most overpowered tier 9 tanks in the game, does have 11 second base reload time, giving it a DPM of 2181. So yeah, here we already have a little bit going for the Concept 1B. Dispersion values are 0.36, which are better than what the uh, what the boy have so for the Concept 1B. And the aim time is 2.3 seconds, which is pretty alrightish. What gets interesting now is the soft stats of the gun. The soft stats come around with 0.08 during turret traverse and 0.12 for any whole movement. 008 turret, 0.12 for the hole. Why do I say this so long and enduring? <laughs> the Concept 1B arguably has pretty good gun handling. It has 0.14 for the hole and it has 0.08 for the turret. So the turret is the same, but the hole goes to the Chieftain prototype. And it is slower, meaning it is even more accurate on the move. And it has better dispersion overall, meaning it's even more accurate on the move than the Concept 1B. So this goes to the concept uh, to the chieftain proto the tier 10 chieftain the one we all say is completely overpowered and is a must have has 0.14 during hull movement and 0.11 for turret movement so in both categories the prototype on tier 9 has better gun handling than the tier 10 <laughs> it hurts that is genuinely a little bit stupid to say the least. The tier 10 Super Conqueror is known to be having one of the best gun handlings in the game as a heavy. It has the same gun handling as the Chieftain Proto on the move, but the Chieftain Proto has better turret gun handling because the turret is 0.08 versus 0.10, which we said before. Yes, the Chieftain Prototypes gun handling is absolutely bonkers so we do have to keep an eye out for that one if they're going to change it around yes the dpm is not that good yes it has 10 degrees of gun depression but my god the gun handling is fantastic now let us move over to the mobility and the mobility is nothing really to write home about it is basically comparable to what the super conqueror has to offer you have better hp per ton ratio 15 versus the 14 but the top speed is exactly the same, slightly better, 0.3 kph better, reverse speed is the same. So yeah, especially compared to the Concept 1B, which has a 45 kph top speed base, 20 HP per ton ratio. Yeah, the Chieftain prototype is definitely a lot, and I mean it, a lot slower than the Concept 1B or 
any other more or less mobile heavy tank. This does mean that a tier 10 chieftain which has this mobility going for it, which is why it's basically getting played over and over and over and over, because basically it's the best thing you can ever have, you know, it, it, is, a, it is a heavy tank with, me, with medium like mobility. This is not going to be the case for this tier 9 chieftain prototype, which is good. Honestly, we don't need more mobility, we don't need more OPness when it comes to being faster and faster and faster to completely yeet the game. So, I like that. Whole Traverse is a little bit slower, 30 degrees per second, but the third, uh, excuse me, the Whole Traverse is slow with 30 degrees, and the third Traverse with 32 degrees is actually pretty decent. It's the same what the Concept 1B has to offer. And finally, the survivability. 915 hit points, that is totally A-OK. -okay. 80 millimeters on the hull, well, I guess it is comparable to what we usually have in a normal chieftain, you know. Like, there are normal chieftains in this game, I just quickly have to find it. Like, there is a chieftain Mark VI, uh, probably still a video which I personally should do. But as you can see, it does have its 85mm upper hole and 76mm lower hole. But you can see it is slightly bent to the left and to the right, it's a little bit whoop whoop. You know, so it makes sense that maybe this one right here has just 80 in a homogeneous plate on the upper front plate and like 76 in the lower plate. So the lower plate will be the weak spot. The thing is, you might have seen it already. 350 meters, uh, excuse me, not meters, 350 millimeters of frontal turret armor, which is most likely going to be this spot right here and the other spot on the other side. We obviously don't know how thick this part right here will be. It might be a weak spot. Who knows? It isn't on the tier 10 reward chieftain because this one does have this as a weak spot it's just 215 millimeters thick when we go into the collision model it's this spot right down here on the mark six when we now compare it to this chieftain which is the overpowered one Upala, you can see that it has also 250 millimeters so we most likely are going to see this weak spot again but then again it is rather difficult trying to hit that weak spot. It is uh, that stuff right here. It might be a little bit easier on the prototype, who knows, because it, it looks bigger, but it's kind of hard to tell. The biggest issue is, which you might already notice right now, mm, you know, it is missing a cupola on this picture. However, I did got the information that apparently this is a little bit misleading. So hold your horses, hold your typings that Wargaming never learned from their issues, etc. Apparently the cupola is more in line or something comparable to what the Centurion Action 10 or the Carnarvon Action 10 have. Or Action X. I like to call it Action X because it, it, it's cool. It sounds cool. So we might be looking at something at this size, which is obviously a lot easier to hit than like this cupola you know this cupola is basically like just this and a little bit of that and you can even bounce of it it's it's a very 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 small cupola nevertheless it is still most likely going to be a very small cupola to hit because it looks like that's very far back thank you very much for gaming to not giving us any more pictures which you sometimes do but you didn't do lately with the ts54 it has also 400 meters of fuel which is very 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 good so let's wrap the Chieftain prototype together. And I don't know what to say. Like, it feels like Wargaming didn't really learn from their lessons. This to me, at the moment, and I know those are still super test stats. This to me, at the moment, looks like a proper tier 9.5. Buff it a little bit, boom, you have a solid tier 10. I don't know what to think about this. Obviously, we don't know what the armor model is. So this might be the issues we are having or we're going to have. But <sighs> Kurva, you know, give it a better, give it a better penetration, even a little bit. Actually, you don't even need to give it more penetration. Give it better DPM. Give it slightly better aim time. Give it more hate points. Most likely you are going to have a solid tier 10 heavy tank. It is not much which needs to be done to put this on tier 10. And this makes me very, 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 very frightened of this Chieftain prototype. Not only does it look like, I don't know, maybe it's for the new Battle Pass season. I don't know what Wargaming is planning with this thing. The thing is though, it feels like it is an incredible hype worthy vehicle. 
and that is incredible frustrating. In any case, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this tank. I am leaving a link to a Google form where you can put your own personal opinion on this vehicle as well directly to Wargaming. They are going to um, look at it. So do that Re definitely, especially for such a vehicle. Personally speaking, it really depends on the armor. Like it really, really depends on the armor. It's already good that it doesn't have good DPM. But if the turret armor is going to be incredible or powered, it is still too strong in my opinion, just from the paper stats. But we will see. In any case, I thank you so much for watching. Cheers, and I see you around. Bye bye.